Okay, this is a pulse motor that I had not seen before, that Tin Man from the Tin Man Power channel uh, showed a 30-minute video on how to convert a stepper motor into a pulse motor in a very uh, similar circuit to a Bedini SSG. It's got a couple of pieces missing, but basically it's an SSG type of circuit. But it's using a stepper motor. and. Uh, he called it the step by stepper <laughs> so that's what I thought would be a good name to, keep, to put this on here is the step by stepper and I made a version of it and this is a uh, 3rd of July 2013 and look at how simple this is now I'm using a TIP 3055 um, this is something that he put forth it's a 1 in 4007 diode couple <coughs> with an LED to show the um, charging coming off of the flyback from the power coil there. There's a trigger coil and a power coil. When the power coil field collapses, it shoots out a flyback spike that you can do things with. And uh, I recommend you go to Tin Man Power's channel and watch all 30 minutes of that video because he explains the dynamic of, of how this works and why it is valuable. So I do recommend that. but. Um, the stepper motor, I have not worked with them before. Uh, I'm, I'm ignorant as far as these stepper motors are concerned, but I did find one uh, very inexpensive at bgmicroelectronics.com. It was $4, and it's called a 24 volt unipolar pulse motor. So go to BG Microelectronics, or you can get it out of an old copy machine. There's all different kinds. What was neat about this one was it was small, it was inexpensive, and it only had four wires instead of the standard six, two coils. So there were just four leads to work with. And it was very, very, very simple to hook up, put this on a board, and get it to run. But uh, it's a great, great uh, beginner's project to take a look at, at this uh, this flyback phenomena that comes off the collapsing field of the power coil and what you can do with it. And usually in the old days you used to ground it out because it blew up the transistors or, or harmed the circuit and then uh, John Bedini came up with the idea why not let's use it let's charge something up with it so that's all the Bedini SSG type of circuits are using that flyback but I have this um, on a 9 volt rechargeable battery I do have it hooked up to a power supply for this demonstration and um, I want I didn't want it to run down because it draws a lot of juice this thing uh, here on my setup because of the low ohm coils draws almost 200 milliamps and that drains that battery down very quickly so I did put a, uh, a, a power supply on it it's a wall wart but let me start this up I'll show you how it works hear it running now I've got a potentiometer on it here. In his video, he just used a 1K resistor, but I've got a potentiometer on it here on the base so you can vary the... Hear that, hear that going up and down? So that's the adjustment right there is the base potentiometer right here. You put a 100 ohm resistor, uh, in series with a hundred uh, or a 1k potentiometer and then you have some control over the circuit now on the flyback here's the the one in 4007 um, diode going into the LED which I like that idea because it does let you see how much current is flowing out and what I'm doing here is I'm going to go over here to my little paper clip motor with a supercapacitor on it and then I'm going to show this thing here being powered. That's a little uh, neodymium ball magnet that spins up off of that and uh, the LEDs light up. So that constitutes a load on this secondary pulse motor. There's the standing voltage on this capacitor. It's a 5 farad 2.7 volt supercapacitor. And then uh, like I say, uh, once I uh, uh, hook this up, you're going to see this running which draws about 30 milliamps and you're going to see it power in that and that my friends is impressive so let me hook this up you'll notice the motor will increase in volume and speed when I when I connect this hear that increase 
Look at the voltage going up. I'm going to start this. Probably see that blinking now. And notice this. This is under load. This is charging the capacitor. It's running that pulse motor. The pulse motor is running a generator, or an alternator actually. And the voltage on that capacitor is climbing. As that climbs, this will get faster and faster. This will get brighter and brighter. Now, like I say, the, the downside is I'm pulling almost 200 milliamps to do this. Now, the TIP um, 3055 does get warm, but it's not so warm I can't touch it. And this is how you vary the, the, the speed and the uh, biasing on the transistor right here. You hear that increase? When I get this just at the right spot, that thing just climbs like crazy. And you notice this thing is this thing is on almost full bright now. And this thing just keeps speeding up and speeding up. And this little uh, paper clip motor has turned out to be a very good uh, testing uh, device, uh, like an instrument, very similar to Maggie. And I found out I can use this uh, very effectively for testing uh, uh, batteries and different things. A real handy little thing. You can see where the voltage is now on the cap. When this gets up to about 2 volts, I'm going to shut this off and just show you how long it runs for. But this thing right here is really, really cool. And I highly recommend you go to Tin Man Power's channel. It's T-I-N-M-A-N -N Power. P-O-W-E-R. And he, it's, it's the pulse motor step-by-stepper. And this is, uh, like I say, the circuit that I'm using. He's using a little bit different setup, but very very cool and you can use a lot of different kinds of stepper motors so this is just one I happen to find at this place here I've actually ordered a couple more they're not very expensive uh, if you find an old printer you can pull it out of an old printer okay there's voltage on my capacitor running the motor and the motor under load now what I'm thinking about this is making a um, a 12 volt battery desulfator, which is what the Tin Man is going for, I believe. Uh, the next couple of videos he's going to post, I believe, are how to convert this into the full blown uh, 12 volt battery desulfation device. And that's what these are good for. Is this this flyback, and he explains it, will knock the sulfate right off the plates if you have a sulfated uh, 12 volt battery. And he explains in the video exactly what to do and what not to do with this device. Uh, the other thing about this that I really liked, and he showed it at the end of his video, is this has torque. You can burn your thumb on this thing. If I hold it on there too long, I'll burn my thumb. Most of the pulse motor circuits don't have any torque. But this stepper motor set up, for some reason, you could drive something with that motor and still have this phenomenon with that, with this. Okay, I'm going to unplug this right now, and you're going to listen to this battery drain down. Okay, that's with this unplugged. It's not plugged in. It's just running on that 9-volt battery now. And this will pull this down pretty quick. Like I say, it's drawing uh, almost 200 milliamps. Pretty good load. Okay, now I'm going to stop it completely. There goes that. And this will drain down. But this will go for a long, long time. And that's the energy that was contained from the flyback in that 5 farad 2.7 volt supercapacitor. Okay, that's it for today, folks. Thanks for watching. Please go over to Tin Man's channel. He spent a lot of time doing that video. It's 30 minutes, but it's 30 minutes well spent.